Hello everybody! And now I'm going to make a technique that I called French lace. And I'm going to use first a power gel and before using the power gel, gel polish bond on the nail bed. I really like to work uh, on the easy trainer because it's the very good way for practicing and also you can do whatever you want. You can practice with your design, you can try your product and actually you can do really a lot of things. And now power gel clear. I'm using now spatula from the power gel tool and I'm going to use the brush from this tool now. And I will use it just to press down the product and seal it to the nail. Mm -hmm. And I will continue distributing the product using acrylic brush. I'm using old acrylic brush because to me it's more comfortable. I'm going to make the whole nail using just clear product. So that's why I can apply it in the thickness that actually that I like that you see that now it's a bit thicker, but that's absolutely okay. So I just will, this is just means that I will have to pinch this layer first, not second one. So we always have to pinch the layer that will be the thickest one. So I created a shape for my nail. And if I'm happy with that, I'm going to cure it for 15 seconds because after this I'm going to pinch it. After being in UV light, I'm going to pinch it with magnetic expert tool. First check and then pinch it in the stress area. Then you will have really very nice curvature. This product is really very flexible. And if you are happy, then we can continue curing for one and a half minute. After full time of curing of the first layer, let's apply second one. And this will be our completely building layer. So I already applied quite thick first layer. So it means that I have to apply just a bit, just to build up apex and it will be done. Because I'm going to uh, put the gel polish on top of that. So it means that sculpting product has to be applied as thin as possible. Because then I'm going to compensate the thickness of the product using first of all gel polish and then top gel. So always take it into consideration that if you are going to use gel polish, always apply your sculpting product as thin as possible. And now just distribute your product with very nice movements. You can use any brush you like. I just found for myself that this brush is really comfortable for me. The shape that I'm going to make, it will be slim almond. I realized that I totally fall in love with that. And uh, it looks really very cool. So you see that we have quite nice and smooth upper arch and lower arch will go slightly up. So the shape will be absolutely nice. And now let's cure it. First, I want to cure it for 15 seconds and I'm going to apply a clump on the nail. I already removed the nail form. 
I still have my sticky residue and I have to apply the pinching clump to keep curvature of my nail and I will continue curing in for full time of curing one and a half minute. Now we'll remove the clump and let's remove the sticky residue with prep and wipe. And then we are ready for filing. So actually I'm not going to file a lot because structure almost there. And I will start first shape with shaping my nail and I will come back to you in a couple of seconds. After finishing filing, I also used the buffer 340. So then I will be sure that uh, I will have really very nice and smooth surface. So next, we see already that we have clear product and we see how our nail will look like. So uh, this shape we can call like slim almond. It looks really very elegant. So it's like classic shape, but also it looks absolutely cool. And now let's make our French laces. I'm going to use now card number 30. It's a vintage lace. So I just have to choose the pattern that I like and maybe I will choose that beautiful daisies. They look really very cool. So I also will need uh, nail polish. You also can do this uh, using uh, liner gel. That's absolutely okay. It's up to you. Just I decided to use nail polish. So first I have to prepare everything. I have to put everything not so far away from me. So then everything will be here and nail of course. Let's start because we have to work quick. And then just print it over your nail. Like that. So if you see like here, I don't have enough laces. That's not a problem because I still can't print something that left on that part. Yeah. And it will be covered. And uh, uh, then... I will press it down and the excess that I have on my sides, I have to remove with polish corrector. When our print is done, so then we just can remove our stamping and I already prepared on my paper palette. It's a color of purple beetle. So it's metallic color and but you can use any color you like, but any metallic color is beautiful uh, because now I'm going to use on top of this matte top coat. So, and let's make various type of French. So I will start with cuticle area. The idea is that gel polish that you are using has to be really very, very pigmented because we want to cover our laces. Then I will turn it other way around and I will create a smile line. I will correct the smile line just a bit later, but now I just at least have to mark it. So you see that this gel polish is really highly pigmented. So that's why we can work with that. And then after this, I can remove my brush and I will work with Katarina's brush. Just to correct my smile line, I will remove the color. 
I want to correct my smile line because I want to have it really very sharp. So this nail art is really very easy and very quick to do and nail will look absolutely nice. So what you can do like uh, your nails uh, you can uh, just uh, cover with gel, this gel polish and two nails like uh, middle one and ring one you can make in this variation and then it will look absolutely stunning. So you also can finish it not only with smart but only with glow or also with gloss top gel and it will look absolutely amazing and then with rhinestone so actually this is whatever you want you can do when we already made our smile line i want to repeat it and i want to create a double smile line then it will look more interesting so because i want to see this fringe these laces then this bottom line will be a bit smaller mm -hmm. and again i will correct it with brush creating sharp smile line if something happen and your smile line will not be completely sharp don't get upset because we are going to hide it so i just don't make it uh, completely like straight you just go to the direction of your smile corner then your design will look really very deep and nice so when i made these nails i was really very happy with the result because it looks very nice so and now we also have to check that our corners they are on the same level small corners from one side and another side so that's already looks nice but it's not finished yet and again i'm not going to spend too much time on this because idea is that it has to be fast and easy so even I have this little thing, that's not a problem because I'm going to continue working. Yeah, of course, better not to do it, but just my hand played a bit funny. Yeah, I will correct it and you see that it's hidden. So it does not mean that you have to make the same smile line on every nail. No, as I said, that you can make it on one uh, on a couple of nails and it will be just enough for you. So I just want to make it more, I will add a bit more product, more smooth. So and with this brush, I also can correct my perfect application of my gel polish if you still don't use nail art that's absolutely okay you still can use these amazing brushes for perfect gel polish application because then with this brush you can go as far to the cuticle as possible but never touch cuticle that's the rule And you see that I'm not using so much of the product. So just little correction because all of us, we are perfectionists. Just a bit of correction. Then I will be happy. You will be happy. And then all of us, if we are happy, then it's just magic. Now I'm going to, yeah, just a bit correction here. And now I'm going to cure it for one and a half minute because actually it's quite dark color and dark color I cannot pre-cure. I have to cure it for full time of curing. And here I have a bit of dust. Shane on me. No dust anymore.
and let's cure one and a half minute in twin light. When it's cured, now I already prepared on my paper palette its liner gel white and base and top. And I'm going to mix them together. Why I want to do it? Because I want to create the gel that will be much thinner and it will be like a paint, but pigmented paint. So that's why when I will apply my dots and I'm going to decorate it with little dots, then it will look nice. So now let's decorate with dots. Um, middle one will be a bit, a bit bigger and then smaller, smaller. So as I said that even you made some little mistake, you always can hide it with little dots. And dots always looks nice and they are giving the impression of lightness to our design. And another layer on the bottom. And it's done. And then we have to cure it for one and a half minute again. I would not recommend you to pre-cure because I did it already and I noticed that it did not cure completely. So that's why we have to cure it for one and a half minute because of the pigmentation of liner gel. One and a half minute and see you later. And uh, we are almost finishing. So we have to seal it with extreme matte top gel. So, of course, you can seal it with gloss top gel. That's absolutely normal. Just I like, I really like the effect on metallic colors with matte top coat. It looks absolutely like velvet and so cool. So it's up to you how you are going to finish it. But you see already that it looks already really very nice. Everything is cured absolutely okay, which is cool. So I just will add a bit. I will check my highlights. I know that I will not have any highlights, but still I will check it. And if I want to correct something, I can correct it as well. I can correct it with very thin brush and I will use again brush from uh, Katerina. So I just want to, yeah, first I have to turn it upside down and I will wait until product will go to the middle, but I'm not going to sit for long time. And you see how it's beautiful from underneath now. And now it's much better, so I should not even correct anything. That's already very good. Now I have to cure it for one and a half minute. And now let's check what result we got. So with matte top coat, it looks really very beautiful, as you see. And this shape is just amazing, so it's very thin. And this French type of laces looks absolutely cool. So if you like it, so then show me your result because you can place this French not only in that way, but also you can place it in that way. You can place it whatever you want. And also, as I said, it always will look nice from underneath because of that laces. So French laces, enjoy it. I hope you like it and see you later.